Hello everyone, Antonio from Random Stuff, and I'm back again with um, a quick overview of one of my favorite applications, which I use called Medisafe. This application has drastically improved over the last, uh, say, 12 months, and um, I need to go onto the Google Play and uh, increase my rating to possibly a four, or if not a five, um, which it probably does deserve to be fair. Now, the way this works is that you, you basically, once you launch it, you, you go and add your, uh, your med friend um, or an internal profile. In my case, the, the, the family members don't have um, the application running and um, they won't be controlling any uh, giving of medicines in the house, so they, they just need to be internal profiles, as far as I'm concerned. The, the icons that you can choose from uh, are these here, and uh, they have added uh, a lot more uh, since... Um, I've downloaded the app and um, so you can choose uh, pretty much um, an avatar uh, to reflect you know the child and the family or the granddad mom father Christmas and uh, and so on obviously these are just the festive ones it would be great if you were able to upload your own avatar and I'm sure uh, in the near future maybe the developers will, will allow us to do that it would be pretty cool to have um, the, the image of the person that we that we, we are looking after. So let's say for example I choose just for fun <coughs> for Father Christmas this one and I'll, I'll create it as an internal profile and I'll call it uh, Christmas and add it. That's how easy it is to add a, a profile. If I look at the list of profiles, these are all the profiles that I'm looking after. Uh, at this particular moment in time, um, this uh, person here has three medicines that they are uh, taking. So one is ibuprofen for children, paracetamol liquid for children, and amoxicillin for children. Uh, each one of these has dosage, uh, best um, method of taking the tablet uh, or liquid, etc and I will show you this now. So if I go to Amoxicillin, for example, uh, I can see some details about this. This is uh, um, great functionality and, uh, and uh, edit capability that wasn't there in the past. And I'm able to, to basically change it um, to my heart's content. So I can, for example, select here. So when uh, editing the medicine, I can change the reminder times. In this case, I've gone for three times a day. There's the options there. And take one dose at 9 a.m., one dose at 1600 hours, and one dose at 2300. The schedule is also uh, set here. You can set the number of uh, days um, and have a few different options that you can choose from. Uh, for me, it has to be five days for the child to take amoxicillin three times a day. The shape and color, self-explanatory. Uh, this is the icon that uh, represents a drop. I could have chosen a syringe, I suppose. Uh, but um, I think the, the liquid drop that I chose is probably the best one for this one. And the color of the amoxicillin is the banana flavor, so I went with yellow. Um, med friend, uh, this is where you would add um, somebody who is also uh, going to be advised, sorry not advised, uh, be reminded via text message or whichever me method they have available. I don't really use this feature, but they will be alerted as well uh, that the person has to take their medicine. Could be handy if you, um, if you were looking after somebody um, and you wanted to make sure that you both were using the right uh, medication and the right times. The dosage is uh, also set, set here, so you can put whatever you want. Put five milligrams, instructions, any specifics, and for me in this case, and, and that's it really. So this is a, a, a medicine that's going to stay in the cabinet. So going back to here, medicine cupboard, cupboard I've got these three. I've set my schedules for all of them, and amoxicillin is the only one that's going to be for five days. As you can see, it's recurring. And on the 24th, what I've done is, there was a third one in here, and all I did is I selected it like this, and I dropped it in here to eliminate the dosage. This is, are you sure? Um, 
if you didn't click on here and you see the link to those let's just come out of that because on that last day the fifth day he needs to take two dosages uh, two doses doses one in the morning and one in the, in the afternoon so today uh, the last one that he took was this one here at uh, 1600 hours and you know I, I could actually you know untake it and reschedule or I could see took it later I could put a little note in here for him to say um, in this case uh, taken inside uh, chocolate brioche it's crazy that this is the only way he was able he was going to take it today so we conned him by putting liquid inside the brioche cut in half and he was none the wiser he ate it like a trooper so last uh, medication for today is going to be this one here which is at 2300 uh, 23 hours and uh, I will get a reminder based on the settings that I have here under general settings mitigation reminders show pop up uh, on no action you know there's lots of different settings you can have a have a play uh, through those they're pretty um, intuitive and uh, easy to set so if I if I had to say um, uh, what I don't like about this application uh, because I like pretty much everything about it and um, the fact that I can monitor every single member of the family uh, you know, um, one of the things that I used to hate before was that when you would add a user, you weren't able to remove them. But now I believe you can do this. Uh, let me see if I can do this through the settings, manage users. So I wasn't able to, to delete the, the user. So now they've added the option to bin it, which is great. So thank you to the developers for that. That's really appreciated. And it seems like I've got pretty much control to do anything that I want. I can put um, I can put that I've taken the medicine or that I've given a medicine at a specific time as needed uh, without a, a special routine. Yeah, I really have the control of, um, uh, of adding and um, reporting uh, also is uh, something I could go into. Um, but I won't mention about the progress reports, uh, but you can do measurements, uh, doctor's appointments, etc. who the doctor is. Um, the only thing that um, I would welcome in being able to do is, um, as, as I've probably mentioned it before, the, the fact that I can't change the icons of the avatars. If I could do that, then that would be absolutely perfect and uh, definitely an app that would deserve uh, payment, uh, whether it be a pound or 195 or whatever. Um, I think it would be definitely worth it because it's, it's really robust and the developers have actually uh, given us everything that we wanted uh, all the problems that have been mentioned uh, they seem to tackle them in their changelog all the time have a look at the link in the description pointing to the application and you can read all the um, uh, reviews on it definitely one of the best ones out there if you have any questions uh, or anything that you want to clarify or any limitations that perhaps you found that uh, I haven't uh, put them in the uh, uh, in the messages uh, below so that uh, anyone else looking might be able to um, pick up on some useful information so uh, thanks for watching um, until the next one take care cheers